So what I've got here is the book, some painting brushes, including some of the homemade brushes. And if you're interested in how to make some of these, go see my video on that. The palette colors that I was using, so Payne's Gray and Antelope Brown in the, in the inks, acrylic inks. Red Gold, Thalo Blue and Payne's Gray in the Atelier and the Hansa Yellow Medium and the Green Gold. And I really just used the yellow to have something to mix with the blue to get myself a range of greens as well as my collage paper and I'll grab a, a tub of water and get started. I realise the other tools that I want to use are a couple of wedges so that allow me to sort of scrape paint around and this Catalyst, both of these are Catalyst brands that are, this really make some really interesting marks and of course I've got some titanium white and a pre-mixed warm white which is kind of almost like an ecru or a buff that I use quite a lot so both of those as well so just getting started what I'm looking at is what's of interest and what have I got that I like and what areas am I not that crazy about in each of these spreads so for example I really like this play of the antelope brown with the green gold in this area and I don't mind some of these scribbles with the graphite, but you know, I don't, I'm not really fussed about that green. Some of these, this line work is quite nice. So that's what I'm doing in each of these spreads, looking at what areas do I like and what areas do I not that kind of wedded to. I don't mind if I cover up some of these or change the nature of them. And that's what I'm doing with each of these spreads.
So that's my first pass through the book. What I like to do is block out areas with paint as you would have seen and add some large collage pieces just so I get to get a bit of a feel for the areas of the pages. And now I can come back in and add some more. So when I go through, I'm looking and thinking, oh, I might want to put some pops of orange in here just to sort of keep that consistent with the rest of the book. I really like, and this is another page that might need some orange. All right, so let's go back and do these two. So um, let me go have a look at my stash and see what I've got. So I did a bit of work on the book, adding some collage pieces and some painted areas yesterday off um, screen. So you would have seen some of these, but I added some more details in different places, adding these sort of pieces in. And I've got a different color, which picks up on this mustardy kind of um, yellow green. So I put these little highlights of orange. This part comes from the fold over of the other page. So these are starting to look pretty good. I'm kind of happy with how some of the areas are being pushed back. And there's still lots of interest in the page. So what I want to do now after doing those collage pieces is start to think about what other elements might I want to include. So I would normally do some kind of line work. So I was thinking of potentially including some of my um, drawing media. So this is Derwent Inktense pencils. I've also got a couple of these Caravan Dash Neo Color 2s and they're also really good. So I might make some line work with that. But also I've been thinking about stenciling. So I've got, I often put text stencils and I quite like the scale of this one for this book, but I've got some other stencils I use. Numerals, this is a pattern sketch, which I quite like. And this large font is actually interesting because you can make it into a very abstract shape. So I'll think about that. So I've grabbed my um, stencil brush, which makes a really good mark. And I've grabbed a couple of other mark making tools. So this was one of my homemade brushes. This was also one of my homemade brushes, just a piece of stringy bark and drop stuff everywhere. And the other thought I've had is about stitching. So before I glue these down, so the pages are still separate, and I thought before I glue them down, I might actually stitch in some cotton. So I've got just embroidery cotton, and I need to go through and see if I can find, if there's any colors. So one of the colors, I've done a lot of artwork in the past with red stitching. I've stitched into, sculptural work into silver jewelry so that's one potential but I'm also mindful that that's not a great color match and that my palette doesn't include red. Um, I quite like that green and there's a nice olivey silver it's kind of a well a nice silvery olive that might work and a lot of the other colors are really not in the palette at all. So there is also black. The rest of these are extremely bright. That dark green might work. So I'm going to have a look at those. And I've grabbed my book binding kit, which I use for other projects. I don't need it for this project. It's got you know lots of um, needles which I will use and. rulers, glue brushes, and wax thread as well. But out of that kit, I want the awl, which is the thing I can poke holes in paper with. So it's got this handy dandy little um, plastic cover for the tip so I don't hurt myself and it doesn't hurt me. 
so I might punch some holes in the pages and stitch some thread through to add an extra effect. Okay, so I might, I might stop there today. I've got a fair bit done and I'll come back and have a look at maybe some more stitching and then gluing the sheets, the pages together. And then the last thing to do is to make a cover. So stay tuned for part three. <laughs>